Cornwall is known for its beaches, its scenery, its food and its distinctiveness. It's all part of a growing brand that's not just about the people living in the duchy feeling more at one with their past and future, but it can also mean money. That word distinctiveness is part of the growing brand that is Cornwall. But what does it mean? Well, it means Cornwall has unique selling points in its culture and traditions that set it apart from other parts of the world. One of those traditions is Cornish music. Hilary Coleman plays with folk group Dalla. People have often said, oh, there isn't such a thing as Cornish music, is there? You know, oh, well, there might be Helston and there might be Padstow Mayday song, but that's it, isn't it? And it's just because people can't see it, they don't think it exists. And, like, you know, I was thinking of the analogy of the sea, you know, the, the sea is teeming with life, but because we don't, haven't looked under the surface, you know. <laughs> Now moves are being made to build a support organisation for Cornish musicians to help them get that wider recognition and even follow in the footsteps of Port Isaac's Fisherman's Friends and bag a record deal. The Cornwall Music Forum has been set up to do this. Tim Smithies is behind it. There is the tradition like the caroling tradition, there is the wassailing tradition, there are musicians, there are the male voice choirs, there's a lot of folk music is in our roots down here. But one of the principal problems that we've got is communicating across our communities about what this is and where we can go with it, actually using this as a major part of expressing our cultural and economic futures. I think if you look at similar um, Celtic countries, for example, if you go to Ireland or you go to Scotland or Brittany, There is a major engagement by young people, um, the whole community in these activities. Now we do have these in our our folk festivals all around the county. Um, But in terms of organizing our music, uh, supporting our musicians, supporting our music instrument makers, supporting all those people who are involved in the creation and learning of music, I think that's been a major gap. Okay, so where do you see Cornish music in the next five, possibly ten years? Well, we've had some astonishing news recently about the uh, people who've seen the the importance of the distinctiveness of of Cornish music um, in terms of the Universal Company, one of the major international companies, signing uh, um, the Fisherman's Friends of Port Isaac because they're, they're producing something which is deeply authentic, deeply about our cultural um, inheritance and where I see it is possibly using that as a, as a model of where we can go with many aspects of Cornish culture. And when Cornish music is put in a Celtic world context, it can mean the prospect of cultural tourism. Andrew Morris runs the CelticLink.com. It's a website putting Celtic folk musicians in touch and helping them market their music. Um, I think as a festival director, we'd realise that searching for bands and musicians around the world was very difficult. So what we're trying to do with the Celtic Link is create one place where it's free for bands uh, to advertise. So you can go on there, search for them, hear their music. We felt there was a real gap in um, a modern online approach to Celtic culture, so that's what we're trying to address. Uh, you mentioned you're a festival director. Just tell me a bit about the festival. Uh, yeah, I'm a director of uh, the Luanda Perrin Festival, which is based in Perrin Porth. Um, it's been running for about 30 years, bringing Celtic groups from all over the world to Cornwall, um, and also helping to promote our Cornish uh, cultural identity. Music, dance, Kayleys, workshops, storytelling... A uh, big parade through the town, you know, lots of great stuff that happens over in, um, in October for five days. So the future looks positive for Cornish music as Cornwall's cultural distinctiveness comes to the fore in regeneration and marketing discussions. And it certainly means that when the fish and tin are gone, the Cornish boys and girls will have something creative to do. Music